Yes, this is going to be a second test drive now with my solar panel. First one was not a success, really successful because the mount of the, the one wheel did break off at the supermarket and I had to walk home and come back with my e-bike with lots of tools and I was able to fix it. So yeah, it was a nice adventure. Uh, this is uh, already the second solar panel because you see I tried, uh, I built the entire construction for four of these 160 watt panels uh, that I, you see, uh, got uh, very cheaply to, uh, but broken and yeah, you can repair them. Uh, so uh, we can uh, heat it up, remove the plastic, and they always break here uh, because uh, the, the, the copper is, is not flexible enough. But uh, by repairing them, the, I did even shorten these contacts. And so uh, when, I, uh, when I mounted them on, on here, on, on my, uh, whatever you call it, they did already, um, break and, and so I had these old uh, unisolar they only have a six percent efficiency uh, so but it's very lightweight so 44 of these uh, 90 gram they have a metal back uh, aside uh, it's, uh, it's about yeah five to six kilogram that's the weight of one of these and so yeah that's quite nice and uh, this is going to be um, a, a camper so so to live in and so, um, okay, here, that's why here this the quick, quick, quick release, because this is not part, uh, legally not part of the car, because if it would be part of the car, then well, <laughs> it's just uh, some, some kind of storage jets that you uh, put on, on, on your car. And, and so I want to spend uh, some words before I drive on uh, how to build such, such uh, structure jets of glass fiber. And this is uh, tempor temporary, but it's still, you see, uh, if you here look at the, the door, it's, uh, it's quite tough. And so I'm quite pr uh, proud of it here. Uh, that's uh, to, because a solar panel can be 30 degree to, to, to one side, to each side. So it's, especially in winter times, this is necessary. And yeah, it's made of here these uh, um, XPS extruded polystyrol. So that's styrofoam, but a very uh, tough, uh, strong version. You can buy them as uh, this is two centimeters thick and 60 centimeters wi uh, wide and 125 centimeters long uh, with, a, with a heat wire uh, from a toaster. Yeah, I have a machine and build a machine to, to cut them into these square. And, and then uh, you need this, this glass fiber. So, uh, yeah, here. You see, this is my, my, my six kilometer per hour uh, solar uh, camper. And this, these are these uh, sun power cells. And this, uh, only two square meters, uh, has the same efficiency or even better efficiency than this one. And so this is not really that nice because this, uh, originally I, I intended uh, these four that would have been 600 watt and uh, this uh, machine needs about uh, 7.5 uh, kilowatt uh, per 100 kilometers and so this would be a fifth and so if you, well, if you make a stop and play a bit basketball for, for an hour then it would be a fifth, so 20 kilometers that you could go on. And now this is only 200 watt panel. I'm charging it up to 4 amps, and these are 44 panels. It's of 48 volt battery system. Now, oh, okay, now I'm here. <laughs> These are all the AGM batteries, so that's why I need, uh, I don't really know how long they last. And that's why I had this idea for a 50 kilometer trip to, to build this uh, solar roof uh, so that I can make a stop uh, at 25 kilometers, so play basketball for one, two hours and then continue. And, and now it's, it's, it's rather, you see, I never have to charge this car anymore, any longer. You see, if it, I just 
stays outside and then it's always fully charged and and so this is a nice idea and and you see this is it's two, two, uh, 210 centimeters uh, by, I think, one, 140, 1.4 meters. And, and so here, this is going to be a bed, uh, uh, 60 centimeters. And here, there are another 20 centimeters that uh, can be uh, unfolded. So even two persons, see, born loser, always dream. <laughs> uh, why hope when you can dream? And uh, now, let's go. You see, it's. I could even here now with this is plastic here. I could even <laughs> install some kind of shower, but you see that there will be here the bed or the bench to sit on, and and here there, there will be uh, the, the kitchen or the desk for for the computer, and 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 as a workspace, and so uh, this is this will really be all very comfortable. So I'm planning a trip in autumn to. Um, up to 300 kilometers uh, uh, to Frankfurt area, and and so um, this this will be my home then. And I I plan to there will be uh, this this greenhouse for the thick ones with these thick bubbles that's one centimeter thick. I think they have a U value, I think of three. I think that's three watt per square meter per Kelvin. Uh, and so uh, you, you could calculate how much uh, what I, I need uh, and to. So um, perhaps I'm really a wooden stove here, so to, to heat and, and to cook and, and so. Uh, that's why I spent in total in total three weeks. I think on Tuesday it will be three weeks uh, to, to to build this uh, nice uh, structure, uh, a greenhouse. A mobile greenhouse uh, for, for for living and uh, yeah I want to show you here so, so, so continue here with the glass fiber so don't say a word on this catastrophe unless you know what a paper street paper street soap company is and uh, so here this is uh, one of my you see uh, it's I built uh, this is a small one and here that's that's a bigger one and uh, it's, this is a cheap version, you see, where you uh, take these, these cheap pipes and an and, and iron, a smaller one, and, but then you need here a gearing. And so I, now I already ordered a 10 centimeters aluminum pipe and, and I will uh, put uh, from, from a uh, the motor to, to lift the blinds. You see, this is already for blinds, a motor, but you see these are on eBay used quite cheap. And so this is a way to 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 get the, the glass fiber into epoxy, and you you need these uh, cheap kitchen foil that you um, can easily well not that easy uh, rip off when when the epoxy becomes uh, solid. And so you see, uh, this is a. Also, you see, uh, got it cheaply on eBay a few years ago. It's 400 gram. Um, uh, uh, per square meter, and you make as uh, eight centimeters uh, big uh, slices, uh, lots of these. You see, that's why I could use this uh, small machine. And the unidirectional uh, here, that's you see, that's uh, I think also 400 gram, and but just uh, one one line. Also, um, here it's only six uh, centimeters wide. I will explain shortly why only six centimeters. And yeah, that's this is a solar panel. This is only at 25 gram. It's very very thin, and it's just to keep the 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 cover uh, not uh, not uh, disappearing. Because you see here, this this panel, I just uh, did spray a, a, a coating, and with this time with time, you see it simply peels off, and that's why. With this, I have uh, this uh, very thin, uh, the epoxy is a bit uh, UV resistant, and yeah, you should be, take care to not make this wrinkles here, but if you're careful, it's always a, a 37 or 38 centimeters wide uh, of this uh, very thin glass fire, so four times. 
Then I did uh, code it with, uh, with spray transparent of 400 gram uh, bin, uh, but it was not really very success successful. And therefore I did code it with uh, epoxy a second time. I think about 10 gram per, per panel. So these four, 44 panels are about 400 gram additionally coating to make it really waterproof because I think these uh, unisolar uh, silicium cells uh, they, they should not get into contact with water and so let's see how long this will last but from my experience you see this, this is very it's really durable and, and flexible the efficiency might decrease even more but at least they won't break totally like uh, with, with these cheap Chinese pens and so you see if you want to repair them then you should um, Puts the, the, the lower side upwards, and you should, would have to make some flexible uh, bypass that really um, can can stay flexible and not really um, solder them together again, unless you want to never use them in a flexible condition. By the way, yeah, here that's there's a one millimeter aluminium foil inside. It's it's not some flexible steel. It's aluminium foil, uh, and and so. Okay, and, and then you have uh, these two types of, of glass fiber and outside that's a, a unidirectional and um, it's a problem if you make all four sides with this unidirectional because you see you have to, um, it's, it's hard to, to, to make them go around over the entire structure. And that's why, you, as I said, you start with this uh, um, square, but you um, you start with this, uh, square slices, but then you s spiral going down. And then you put this uh, only s for three sides, this unidirectional, uh, on top. And then you uh, take again this uh, cheap foil. You can um, cut it into three parts, but you should uh, not cut it with a saw from like that. But you have to really, um, while, while cutting it, you have to to rotate it because uh, otherwise and uh, this will always rip apart but if you really always a uh, knife with tools we really, really uh, you, you cut it around and in uh, in circles and go deeper and deeper then you can uh, you get end up with this that can really um and uh, that's another uh, thing uh you you should uh, keep in mind uh, don't uh, use this too extensively because afterwards you always have to remove it you see, and uh, it's hard to find the beginning, and, and it, it quickly rips off, and, 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 and so it's, if it's for such a big structure, you see, that's why it's still here, it's on, but if it's on it, then you cannot um, put a new structure on it. And yeah, in theory, you could build such an entire structure, as I said here, uh, because it's quite durable, um, with a glue gun. Yeah, it's, uh, you see styrofoam and, and this 90 degree would quickly uh, um, melt away, but uh, melt down. But uh, this uh, extruded XPS, XPS uh, extruded styrofoam, it's so durable. It, uh, it's, you can put here a bit of the heat gun, uh, glue, that's EVA, EVA, uh, plastic. Uh, and then you can, uh, in principle, put this entire structure uh, together, um, very uh, fragile, and then uh, you first, uh, you see, uh, spill, um, spill downwards uh, the, uh, the square wand, and then you put uh, on, on three sides uh, this uh, unidirectional uh, glass fiber. Of course, it would be better to have all four sides or even six, ti uh, six times two, 12 centimeters. But as I said, it's very difficult uh, to, to put, get it around. And so it's either on, better to only use three sides. Uh, because uh, you see, what's really important is uh, the two opposites here. So here's, uh, th these are the, uh, I think, yeah, the two opposites. So this is now durable in, in that direction. Uh, but not so durable in this direction. But with such a structure, there's always one uh, um, 
direction that's not that important as the other one. And you see, so this is here outside and there also outside. So these, um, these two together somehow um, also make this entire structure durable in that direction. Uh, so at least so and that's a very easy way to a quick way to to make these uh, uh, glass fiber rods here and downwards you see I, I made this, this uh, square ones um, with such an angle so that to overlap two times so make it even stronger but here to really to to make it uh, very lightweight it's really I think it's it's just such an angel to really to to overlap it uh, only uh, at a very small uh, distance. Yeah, yeah, there's some uh, uh, Kevlar tube to, to make this easy going. And this also the quick fastener is, is also to, to mount it, but it's also to, to release it and, 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 and change here the, the angle. Uh, so it's quite nice. Yeah, here this is a, a balancer, active balancer for uh, lead acid, so it's uh, four times 12 volt, um, balancing these uh, two packs. So this is uh, two old, uh, I think 156 amp hours, 12 volt, and these are 50 amp hours, uh, 12 volts, so two in parallel, that's 100 amp hours. And, and here that's a charger, a new charger that's, uh, I was able to make it uh, adjustable and so it's 2.5 kilowatt because the old one uh, stopped working or it, it stopped working before I could see that it's working but at least at the beginning it was powering up and the, the, the cooler blew but by now it's doing nothing and uh, there's only about plus minus going out and uh, AC going in and there's a uh, here, uh, I think some some kind of connector, but I don't see a, a plug to that has been pulled off. If someone uh, knows a, a manual uh, for this type of, of charger, uh, let's look at look here. Uh, yeah, see, that's now that's a bit. I uh, have to. It's now 44 milliamps. It's not charging any longer, uh, but it should charge. So now I, uh, you see, uh, putting here a bit and, and see if it's now charging again. That's not so. I don't know, but this uh, LCD panel also is, is not really very. It only did show a max of two amps uh, charging, but when I checked it directly here uh, you see by now it's just uh, two diodes to because I don't have a solar charger uh, here and and this these 200 watt uh, of what for for these uh, big amps so I can more or less charge uh, continuously and so if I just pull it here and me did measure I think 3.75 amps by now the sun really bright and, and up it should be 4 amps uh, uh, but this um, uh, uh, thing that only show two amps max, and don't know why it's now show or not charging, because when I did check it here, uh, it it did does charge. So uh, that's okay. You see, maybe this also will break because of the vibrations, I don't know. And yeah, I, I have these uh, lots, uh, a few hundreds uh, of these uh, very high efficient sun power, but uh, for these four square meters, it would be 252 of these uh, sun power cells and it's, it would be two weeks uh, soldering. And so these are only 44 cells. So it was, uh, it was nice to, to build it and I uh, still had to make use of these 100 that I did buy uh, 10 years ago. Uh, and so it's, it's a nice use case. Okay, uh, and now uh, that's why I'm making here <laughs> test drive because here there's an automatic gearing, a gearbox here, uh, there, and it makes really uh, awful noise. Uh, when, uh, when just uh, freewheeling. 
and so I want to record what to record it to, to, to play. maybe someone of you um, can tell me if these uh, variable speech and uh, transmissions uh, gearboxes uh, if it's normal that's uh, you see because um, they adapt to to the torque that you need and so if you just uh, stop uh, uh, the motor and then suddenly it has to readjust then it might be um, okay if, if there's a noise yeah okay so that's all i wanted to show you here this <laughs> thing yeah the structure is uh, now of course uh, I have to see if the police will uh, will stop me on the first <laughs> possible instance, uh, because you see it looks very very fragile, yeah, and uh, it's of it's glass fiber, so it's elastic, uh, so that's but uh, that's intentional, and uh, I could uh, have built it off with carbon. I have also enough carbon, but okay, carbon is quite. Uh, more expensive, uh, but uh, you see on eBay you, you can get the square meter for five, six uh, euro, but uh, you can get glass fiber for, for one euro if you win a good auction. Uh, and, and so, but uh, carbon, if carbon breaks, it really it becomes very uh, deadly a weapon, and it just breaks off, and it's a, it becomes a spear, and 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 so whereas glass fiber. When glass fiber breaks, it just bends and, and it's not becoming that sharp. And therefore, if you want to build a structure on, for, for a car on, on the streets, then the glass fiber is, is the way to go. I uh, see Kevlar is too flexible, so you cannot build uh, such thin structures with Kevlar. Uh, there's this basalt fiber, of course. Yeah, basalt fiber it looks also a bit like carbon. It's a bit more. Uh, stronger than glass fiber, so but you can do it this way. But uh, glass fibers really, it's it's nice. And um, you see, this has to be replaced in, in here, and, and there's some other thing. So that here, the bed uh, when unloading stuff, uh, it's not on the way. Okay. And now, three kilometers to the supermarket. To, to buy some food. Bye-bye.